Howdy folks, uh, so what we are doing today is uh, as you can see my these are my curry leaf plant seedlings uh, that I started in um, September 2020 so these are well matured two year over two year old plants well established well rooted as you can see they have been growing in the small cup and that is the reason why you know it's small in size these have been topped a couple of times by topping we means uh, I've cropped it from the top just to keep the size shorter so that they can grow uh, vertically downwards that means in the in the root zone more than uh, on the top part uh, the plan for today is to move them into uh, a bigger pot so repotting them uh, so that they can go into their new homes um, we'll do a couple of them today and the rest I'll do later I got these uh, half gallon pots uh, nursery pots with holes at the bottom um, as you can see uh, what I prefer is uh, taller pots then wider pots so that um, you know the roots can grow deep down rather than spreading outwards because uh, you know for the for a better growth of a plant uh, it's better that the root grows straight down deeper um, that makes it even stronger so <clears throat> then I have uh, uh, one thing to mention that these are uh, plants uh, these seedlings were grown from seeds uh, completely organically that means uh, I use organic soil I use organic fertilizer for them um, and I've been keeping them um, uh, you know well watered um, you know as you can see it's right next to the window and uh, getting enough sunlight uh, I'm currently in zone 5b and that's why uh, they are indoors and uh, we're doing the reporting also indoors um, so let's get started put my camera on the tripod and I, as I mentioned that I'm doing it indoors so you can see uh, this plastic I'm using this old carton so that I don't just spread the soil around everywhere uh, let's get started um, mm, mm. So first thing we're gonna fill up some soil in the pot. Uh, trying to keep the area as clean as possible. Uh, there we go. The soil is going in. in front. soil is uh, pretty much fine so that you know, the roots grow easily, not coarse at all. Um, so, I'm more. I think this is good enough. Um, maybe a little bit more. Uh, you know it's gonna settle down um, you know when you water it and so then what I do simply is uh, make a dent in the center where the plant's gonna go um, just like that I hope you can see um, all I need to do is uh, press it a little bit at the bottom uh, and just pull it out uh, look look at that root ball look at that extremely extremely long root ball this is what i was talking about you can see how well they have grown i'm gonna let the root go at the bottom um, press it in a little bit cover it with soil Try to keep it straight. And, and there we are. One down. A few more to go. Repeat the whole process. Put one in. Oh, 
there we go. Put him in, put him in. I know I'm dropping a lot, but that, and I'm gonna get all that in the end. And the good thing is inside the box, so nothing to worry about. The gumbo outside the box, please. Other than I'm gonna provide you the updates uh, most likely on a weekly basis to, to show you how they're gonna grow differently now that they're in a bigger pot versus a smaller cup. Uh, you know, where they've been for the most part, um, you know, uh, after two years of their age. Um, let's get this one now. Again, press the little at the bottom just so that you know it's released. Usually you can see how well, how tall, how long the roots are. And press it in, make sure it's straight so that it goes straight. Press it in. We're gonna water that. I'm gonna water them all of them once I'm done. Keep potting a couple of them. You know, even if it wasn't that cold, uh, when you repot uh, any plant into a bigger pot, um, you know, you should keep it uh, in, a, in a controlled environment that is, you know, not directly in a sun, sunny area, because, uh, you know, that, that, that usually shocks the plant. So, it's, it's always uh, recommended to uh, keep the plant uh, in a, in a semi-shaded or indirect shaded area uh, so that uh, it can it can adapt to its newer soil, newer pot. And here again, look at the roots, well established. Um, yeah, so that helps the plant to uh, take that new transition into a bigger pot, slow and steady. And you know, once maybe two weeks have gone, then you can start bringing them into more sun and more shaded area. So I'm going to do maybe a two, three more and then I'll come back uh, when it's time for watering. See you in a bit. All right, so here I am. I have about five pots here that I've prepared. Uh, I'm not going to prepare all of them because uh, I don't have that much space. So it's going to take a lot of space. So I'm going to do it gradually. Now it's time to water these pots. Uh, the idea is to water them slow, not just fill it in, otherwise it's going to directly drain out. So I'm going to start watering them uh, a little bit at a time so that they can soak it in and not just you know, drain it out from the bottom holes. And then, you know, it's uh, depending on your climate, you just have to water them regularly. Um, I have set them to water once a week. So I water them deeply once a week, uh, every Sunday. Uh, but it would depend on your environment, your climate. Uh, if it's too hot, you may need to do it uh, more than uh, once a week. See, it has gone down and I'm putting some more and I'm mostly putting towards where the plant is so that uh, you know that's where the actual roots are at the moment and then they're gonna start growing outward downwards and then you can you know water the entire pot completely 
I can see it's dripping down from the bottom hole, so that's where I'm gonna stop. Um, so that was uh, a video of repotting organic curry leaf seedlings. Uh, I'm gonna provide you a weekly update on how they're growing in their newer pots. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel for future videos. Thank you.